In case you've ever been curious, in this video, I'm going to talk about the four things that I use most every day as a freelance copywriter selling on Fiverr. Coffee's just so good. Believe it or not, number one on this list is good old fashioned pad of paper and a pen. Well, I use a nice fancy Moleskine notebook and a brass fountain pen because it just makes me happy. But yeah, pen and paper. You see, as a freelancer, some of the biggest challenges I face are time management and procrastination. You know, when you get into freelancing and selling on Fiverr, we're our own bosses. We have to decide how much time certain things are gonna take, when we're gonna take the time to do certain things and make it all happen. So to help me stay ahead of procrastination and get everything I need to get done done, a pad of paper or a notebook and a pen have become my best friend. Every morning I sit down and one of the first things I do is I write down four or five of my most pressing and important tasks that I need to complete that day. I write them down and I keep the notebook open and around me for most of the day. So it's always front and center what I need to get done. And there's just something so satisfying about crossing something off that list. So that's number one, pen and paper. I use it a lot. So number two for things that I use most as a Fiverr Pro copywriter running a business selling on Fiverr is probably the highest ROI item I've ever purchased in my life. And that's my iPad Pro with Magic Keyboard. So I bought this iPad uh, early 2020. I was transitioning, I was moving from my condo to the house that I'm in now and I didn't really, I wasn't gonna have a workstation, like a permanent workstation. So I needed something that I can use to work on the go, uh, do my copywriting and also film and edit YouTube videos. So I bought the iPad Pro. Not only have I used it to de deliver and complete almost all of my Fiverr orders over the last year, but I also have probably recorded and edited about 20 or 30 YouTube videos on this channel using the iPad Pro. It was, it, it was an amazing thing to have. It has a 4K camera, uh, it's got studio quality microphones, at least that's what they say built in, so the audio is pretty good, and it was powerful enough for me to edit all of my YouTube videos on it. I think all in all, the Pro iPad with the keyboard and the little magic pencil uh, cost me like $2,000, but over the last year, it's probably paid for itself 10X. So that's number two, can't go anywhere without my iPad Pro. The third thing that I use most in my day-to-day -day as a freelancer is actually something that I didn't know I would need or not want to live without until I got it, and that's a portable power station. So a couple months ago, I reached out to a bunch of companies asking them to send me portable power stations because I thought they would be really cool to review as potential tools to help freelancers actually freelance off the grid. And the one I'm featuring in this video was sent to me by NinjaBat, awesome tool. But what I didn't realize is once I started testing it for the video review I was gonna put out about it, I realized that I'm using this thing all the time around my house. Um, nowhere near digital nomad lifestyle. So uh, number three is a portable power station. And the reason being is it allows me to work wherever I want around my house, even when there's places that I don't have easy access to power outlets. So prime example, I don't always like writing at my desk. Sometimes I wanna get lazy, lie on the couch, bring my iPad there and just bang out a bunch of text. My couch doesn't have any plugs nearby. So if I'm using my iPad and it's running out, I kind of got to get like an extension cord, which I don't want to do or work at my desk. Once I got a hold of some of these power stations, I can just bring it with me. And all of a sudden I have like five outlets or ports that I can charge my iPad, my phone, Bluetooth, literally whatever I want. And it's been awesome. I've, I've used it to go and work and freelance at my girlfriend's cottage. You can bring them on vacation. I can do work in the backyard. I can even power my TV in the backyard if I want to watch TV while I'm working. So number three is portable power stations. Believe it or not, it's one of those things that I never thought I would need, but I find myself using them every day now and they're awesome. By the way, NinjaBat, who sent me this portable power station to feature in these videos and, and review for this channel, was nice enough to include a 15% off discount code that you can find in the description of this video. Check it out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself, you're free to do so. And number four on this list of things that I use most as a freelancer is probably pretty obvious and similar to my iPad, it's my iPhone. So. 
Like most of you, I'm sure you probably have a phone or smartphone of some sort strapped at the hip and have on you all times a day, and I am no different. I always have my iPhone on me, but it's actually become a very key tool for me to help me run my freelancing business. Number one is it allows me to respond to Fiverr buyer requests or messages real time, which is huge. If you're on the go, if you're out for dinner, uh, being able to respond within an hour really helps you keep those Fiverr metrics high. The second thing having an iPhone on me all, at all times allows me to do is manage my calendar. So I'm a really big advocate of time blocking different time blocks throughout my week to allocate time for freelancing, recording, you know, whatever I need to get done. Uh, having my, an iPhone or a smartphone and having it on me all the time is kind of an extension of my notebook. It allows me to quickly flip open my calendar, see what I need to get done for that day and keep myself accountable. And the third reason I use it, you know, maybe too much for this reason, but I, I'm always checking YouTube analytics. I like to respond to comments quickly give people the answers they're looking for. So my iPhone is the fourth, fourth most commonly used thing that I use every day as a freelance copywriter selling on Fiverr. Anyways, I thought this would be a cool video format. I haven't really done a video like this before, but I got to thinking that I could probably run my entire Fiverr or YouTube business with these four items. I could probably cut down, you know, maybe even using three of these items. Like if I lost the, the iPhone or the iPad, they're kind of interchangeable. So I hope this video was helpful and you know interesting to you if you stuck around till the end. If you wanna check out another video that talks about a pretty important aspect of my Fiverr workflow, check it out. This video kind of walks through a bit of an SEO tutorial to help you figure out how you can rank your gigs higher in Fiverr search. So if you're interested in that and you're trying to rank higher in Fiverr search, check it out, it should be really helpful. So thanks again for watching and until next time, cheers.